Hi, this is Shadi. Today I want to discuss the Olympics as if it were the only competition in existence. I know a lot of you love it because of the vibe and the emotions that the Olympics create and I know we're just fresh out of them still. And when you look at uh, Diora opening her arms, looking up to the heavens and crying, you know why these athletes do this. And trust me, I do. But when I say that I do not support judo being on the Olympics, it's because of particular reasons. When you make sure that only a very small part of judo is being represented and not the full judo compared to other disciplines, which I will get to in comparison, you will see that judo is really taking the, what they say, the short end uh, of the stick or the shortest straw. And I do believe that judo is being screwed on three levels in regards to the Olympics. First of all, the athletes, which I will talk about a lot because they're the prime reason why we have it in the first place. And not only just in terms of judo, but also compared to other uh, Olympic sports, medals, uh, competitions, the the choices of competitions, because judo is incredibly rich. It's not just that little tournament that you go through and then you get to win your medal, but there's also other elements as well, or many formats of competition. And as you see with other uh, sports, the second one is the fellow spectator. My fellow spectators, you as well are being screwed in terms of viewership and in terms of access to content. And again, I will demonstrate it's just a little click on the YouTube and you will see that you get very little scraps, if any, after each uh, competition compared to other sports uh, as well. Why? I genuinely don't know. And finally, also, when it comes to the IJF who organizes the world tour, who has uh, in charge all these rankings, the production that they make, etc. When it comes to the IJF, IOC dynamics of relationship, I don't think it's fair to the IJF as well. And that also needs to be discussed. It's not about, you know, uh, trashing something or trashing someone. It's just putting everything out, uh, laying it out and really uh, discussing it because I don't think they're being fair to judo, not one bit. It is a very old martial art and it also has a lot of values that comes with it and also it needs to be represented fully with the full respect that it deserves. So the athletes, I do believe that they're being undercut uh, simply uh, by putting the world championship pool into the Olympics. That alone will solve a lot of problems. There is so many great and talented athletes that have beaten everyone in their category for years on end, including the reigning champions, and still do not get to see the Olympic stage. One great example comes to mind is Maruyama. And Maruyama is, is this tragic hero, in my opinion. He beat everyone in his category, two times world champion, including Abe, and still he will never see the Olympic stage. And all of this can be fixed if we just use the world championship table. And before you say, whoa, 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 it's the quota. Everyone represents uh, one country and that's it. You cannot have this. Please take a look at this medal table that you see in the 100 meter butterfly. Gold and silver are women from the United States of America. There's also examples of Phelps and Lochte competing in one uh, swimming pool. So and before you say, well, no, because their brackets work like this. And sometimes I don't care. The fact that you can have two Americans race for the gold medal, you can have the same in judo. I, there's literally no reason in the world to not have the world championship draw re uh, replicated in the Olympics. It makes zero sense. And it's unfair to people uh, like, I don't know, Pinot comes to mind, uh, Klim Kate, etc., etc., and also, frankly, it would make the Olympics far more uh, exciting. If you, you only care about is viewership, I think that would be also a plus for them as well. And also, uh, let's say for the sake of example, you cannot only but have one from each category uh, from one country. 
then put the other in the team and let them both compete and you can have two choices of 66 two choices of 73 it's a team by default just like in uh, football you, everyone has a replacement you can change them according to tactics according to which country you're fighting etc for example uh, maruyama is more far more suited to fight Anne, but maybe abe will fight the georgian etc there's just so many ways that you can let these athletes who have done so much on the world stage in terms of their ranking in terms of their level in terms of what they showed the world for them to compete to medal but no you're you're taking only one and then uh, that's it oh but it's the quote i know I, I don't care about this bureaucracy you can clearly get around them in other sports so that's one thing also there's many areas where uh, athletes can medal or different competition formats uh, for example the open weight uh, category i don't know why that thing is gone or not even represented in the olympics remember ruska uh, for decades he was the only one up until the teams of course uh, he was the only one to grab two gold medals in, in judo in one game. While swimmers, they just wear a robe of medals from just one game. Look at Phelps. Uh, Leon Marchand uh, just won five medals in one game, etc., etc. All because they have a different formats of competition. And judo can have that. So you have the teams. You have the open weight. You can have two open weights. Maybe one in 81 and under. And the other one is minus 90 and over whatever it may be and you can you can have that and to let the team be two two per category let let people participate let them fight let them medal i don't understand why they're so strict on medals in judo but in other areas they just shower them for example in swimming you have 50 meter butterfly which is literally one lap i get it they're high level they're quick they're like thunder and I know, but still, if they merit a gold medal, then judokas with what they do to their bodies and what they put their bodies th through, they deserve a hell of a lot uh, more. And you also have 100 meter butterfly, you have the 200 meter butterfly, you have the 400 meter medley. Uh, there's just so many ways that you can medal. You also have in aquatics, the diving, uh, three meter dive 10 meter dive uh, synchronized dives the list goes on and on and on and and i think just to have that little tournament one from each country to maybe you can get some medal is very unfair yeah i mean just recently they added the teams even though it's been there forever also the open weight was another format because this is what judo is at least still in japan where you can fight a much larger opponent and beat them strictly due to of course genetics your technique your strategy etc it's you can still achieve these and it will make things far more great and of course spectator uh, friendly so uh, another thing i don't know why but even westerners don't know much about this concept but the batsugun which is the the excellency title it's if there's anything that's very uh exciting is this part and it's very you know cut and dry you win you stay the other guy comes i think it's five fights each or whatever and you can have these with for example the medalist after they have finished um you also for example if two let's say they tied none of this shido and golden score nonsense if two tied they're both eliminated you just get two fresh ones and then you start again this is another one also if you look at karate in the olympics they have men's kata and female kata where is the judo kata before you start laughing and talking about how useless kata is I, first of all i don't care and two it is an essential and integral part of judo the founder clearly loved it and implemented so many of them he himself was an avid uh, practitioner of kata we have national kata champions continental and world champions in kata where is the olympic champion in uh, kata can someone please give me a proper answer and if you're talking about entertainment and it's not uh, spectator friendly i'd first of all that's not true if we were delighted with yusuf pointing a gun i'm pretty sure we will enjoy watching uh, kata 
also if karate has kata and not just kumite so uh, i don't know why it's not uh, there so that's another area where people cannot even meddle you have a world champion in kata etc uh, etc there's just so many ways these athletes can qualify and medal and different formats where you can have a chance to show yourself and they're not even there and this quota of one per category is just so crazy it's ridiculous from top to bottom and again just look at the aquatics how much they are given how much they are encouraged you wouldn't say uh, swimming has an olympic problem like a lot of people do again this video is not about leg grabs or whatever this is just the latest symptom but there's just so many things that are happening in comparison to other olympic sports that are just beyond unfair okay judo is not what the 20 year old wants it to be judo is judo judo is fighting regardless of weight you want to add the weight you can but that's a different format of competition you also have the concept of fighting and staying there and somebody else comes in until you either win or you yourself are eliminated judo is also kata so i do not understand why it is so underrepresented it's not what the 20 year old wants it to be just randori and then one gets a medal i'm sorry it is not that now that's regarding the athletes okay now you the viewer let me show you a few examples here for example Léon Marchand which is the now the swimmer let's say he is it's his time now and you can go back and get to see all his swims from the Paris Olympics all of them you get to see this particular final the 100 meter butterfly you there is the 50 meter butter uh, freestyle etc uh, you can also have this live stream from the London Olympics which is still up for viewership or for viewing and you can watch it where are my teddy Riner fights of paris olympics or the abe hifumi fights from tokyo or fabio from rio etc where are they there is just so much on youtube for the aquatics but in judo there is barely anything i don't know why just for not everyone can just catch the olympics as they're happening people maybe there's time difference people are at work people i don't know there's just so many things that are happening in the world not everyone will stop just to watch you so having a little bit here and there from these the the champions at least will be greatly appreciated i don't know again aquatics are showered with medals and you can get to see them on a replay till the end of time but judo you get you get really nothing it's it's really strange i don't know why it's so underrepresented in so many ways and we are just so oblivious to them it's it's i find it very strange and look at this all this you can just watch fully the paris olympics of aquatics on youtube alone so that's that's really interesting and finally the igf with the with the whole change of rules every five minutes uh, they come to you and tell you they look like wrestlers you just cut it in half there's just so many things that are happening and i don't know why they they get to have the leverage uh, uh, this idea that oh no look, listen if if you don't get your whatever numbers up you might go out first of all i, I call their bluff i'm sorry but they'll just not kick you out the judo numbers at least in france are huge nobody will remove france uh france nobody will remove judo from the olympics this is just a bluff and i can't believe anyone still far for it and i find it very uh, manipulative they will not remove it just like they've been talking about removing wrestling for i don't know how many years now and still there so this is just like oh be careful if you don't do this da 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 it's very unethical very manipulative and and it they they just get to stretch and knead and flatten judo like a dough as if it's theirs and when in fact no i think just call their bluff i'm sorry but it's it simply doesn't make sense and we know uh what kind of heritage judo has and the legacy of judo it will just not come out of the olympics we know this so 
it, also you're gonna tell me that because people were doing kata guruma and te guruma uh, judos on its way out of the olympics <laughs> i mean the, the more i think of this argument the more ridiculous it gets so it's it's really unfortunate that we have to fall for these uh baseless arguments and just incredibly it's, it's it's simply incredible so if you have anything to add please just let me know down below uh, don't forget to check out my book and if you have anything to add just let me know keep it courteous in the comment section this was shady and thank you for listening